part of surfing in these remote locations, like Riley's or Mulligmore or Aileen's, is that you're in like some of the most dramatic settings in the world. Like we're really lucky to experience that. To get to these waves, you have to hike down huge cliffs and tiny little goat trails, or walk past amazing castles that are perched on top of the hill at Mulligmore, and you can just feel the energy in those places, and it's like it's it's incredible. And when you're actually in the water, like surfing's only half of the experience. You're looking back at these sheer cliffs that are like the edge of the world and proud mountains covered in snow. It's like it's really amazing. I guess what's so unique about Ireland is it's, the island itself is made up of rock formations that are millions of years old and that's kind of what makes our slabs and our other points and reefs so perfect and amazing on their day. Um, also our dramatic weather that's carved the coastline and on different setups is just, yeah, it's, it really adds to it and it makes it all the more dramatic and when the light does come out it's always ethereal and a bit magic and yeah, it's, there's a lot of different things that make Ireland so special. Yeah, it's surfing big waves is something I've sort of progressed to naturally and it's just something I've always loved and taken it step by step. So I've, I've pushed myself out of my comfort zone but not too far each time and just kind of built on that. And I think like, yeah, like when I first started surfing Mulligmore I was absolutely terrified. Like I felt sick to the guts and yeah, just the, the thought of falling just terrified me because I was scared of the unknown and didn't really know what was going to happen. Now that I've had terrible wipeout after terrible wipeout, I kind of know what to expect, so I'm not really as scared anymore. And yeah, it's kind of the paddle days that intimidate me a bit more because I haven't really grasped that fully yet, I don't think. So that's kind of the most exciting element for it, of it for me right now, I'd say. For me, Mulligmore is at its best when there's big, crazy storms that come in from the Atlantic and demolish the coast, and there's crazy winds that people shouldn't even go outside in, but there's little windows where it'll suddenly go offshore for an hour or two, and there's not that many people around, and it's just, yeah, it's, it's pretty special. It just turns into this crazy, perfect wave. Mm -hmm. 